Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network, reporting to you here today with Brian Popper from the USDA Wildlife Services. We have a great new announcement of some, some new funds that uh, will be allocated so that we can eradicate a huge, you could call it a huge rat, <laughs> or a, like kind of like a beaver, but nutria, it's called nutria has been an invasive pest. I wanted to talk a little bit today with Brian about this pest. Since 2017, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife have removed over 1,600 of these animals from the Central Valley. They do cause a lot of damage. I wanted to talk specifically about this pest and the damage and, and what uh, what's going on right now in, in the state. Yes, Congress just passed the Nutria Eradication Act. Well, they reauthorized it, which um, authorized $12 million um, that's available for any state that has nutria and helps with their efforts to eradicate nutria. Previously, the Nutria Eradication Act only covered a, f a few states. Um, it was very instrumental in allowing um, the state of Maryland to potentially eradicate nutria from the Chesapeake Bay, um, in particular the Delmarva Peninsula. Um, I say potentially because they haven't had any detections uh, since I believe 2015, but they're currently doing their verification phase. So yes, they probably are eradicated, but we don't know for sure. We'll know when they finally get through their verification phase. Um, but this is definitely you know a benefit to to other states that have nutria that that haven't weren't involved in the original Nutria Eradication Act, such as California. Um, we recently rediscovered that we had nutria, whether it was a new introduction or um, a leftover population from when they were here previously. Nobody knows for sure. We'll probably never know. But this will definitely allow the state of California to provide additional resources uh, that can go towards, you know, eliminating them. Um, you know, which is which is really important because nutria can be very detrimental to the environment, um, not just the natural resources, but they can also impact our water infrastructure. They can be cause damage for um, ag producers. Um, they really are an animal that here in the Central Valley of California can cause massive, massive problems for just about everybody. Um, in every way and way and form, they um, they will eat some ag um, products. Um, they'll eat you know different uh, they'll eat different crops. Primarily though, the impacts that they cause are to the water system. They will burrow into levees, so they'll compromise the levee infrastructure, the vegetation that they eat in the canals. Um, they waste about 80% of it, which leaves a lot of floating vegetation in the, in the canals and in the irrigation system, which then can stop up pumps and cause huge problems with, with the water infrastructure. Um, not only that, but they reproduce in huge quantities very quickly. I believe the numbers were, you know, they can produce up to 13 young three times a year, well, three times in 13 months at a time. So um, the females will become pregnant, can become pregnant at 48 hours after giving birth. Um, they grow up to 25 pounds. They, you know, are just eating, digging machines when it comes to, uh, to what they do. And, uh, you know, they can, they can spread far and wide really quick. Um, and, and cause huge, huge problems. Um, you know, there's been some recent research into uh, the Mississippi Delta, and it's now theorized that nutria cause more loss of habitat in the Delta than hurricanes and coastal erosion. So, you know, that's what is trying to be prevented here by doing, uh, you know, by trying to eradicate them is we're trying to prevent them from damaging our, our water infrastructure here in the Delta um, because, you know, we do rely on, on a lot of water management here. So what can farmers do to help in this effort? They can keep an eye out. They can look for signs if they happen to see what they think could be nutria. 
they can contact California Department of Fish and Wildlife at 1-866-440-9530. And that will take you to the um, California Department of Fish and Wildlife Nutrient Eradication Program. They'll take your information and they will try and see about getting somebody out there to do a site assessment, look for nutria, and try and determine what's going on and hopefully be able to look at things and, and determine whether you have muskrat, beaver, nutria, and then from there be able, if it is nutria, um, get you involved in the program to eradicate them and get them out of the state. Thank you, Brian. Read more about these things in our publications, American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetables West Magazines. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.